Roof Snap, is it for you? The good, the bad, the ugly? Comparing Roof Snap with some other online companies or companies like Eagle View, if you are looking for a way to measure your roof remotely or roofs remotely, Roof Snap might be the perfect solution and fit for you and your company. I'm going to take you over to my screen capture software and show you my screen from start to finish on a property I'm getting ready to measure that I've never been to across town here in Kokomo. And hopefully this will be a fast, informational, packed, full video for you guys. If you do me a favor, at the end of the video, if you like it, you got any kind of nugget information, imagine what you're missing out if you're not subscribed. So please smash the subscription button onto the side, ring the bell so you're notified when I throw this out there to you guys. And let's get into it. And like my friend, well, I like to say my friend, my buddy I watch all the time religiously, Stephen Graham on YouTube, he's always about smashing the thumbs up. So not for me. But for the other people seeking the knowledge, that's what they're out there doing on YouTube, seeking the knowledge. To help get my video lifted from the depths and promoted to other people and suggested videos, please give me one of these for the other people. Not for me, for the other people out there. Whichever way, you don't like it, you don't like it, just make one of these blue and it really helps me. I greatly appreciate it. So let's get into the screen over here. All right, like I said... Roof snap. Uh, there's going to be some blurred out information just for the sake of the customer's protection, their identity, their addresses. So if there's blurred area, that's all I'm hiding. I basically entered a file here. I have not gone any further than that. We're going to click on this here. It has some areas here. So details, that's going to where you're going to go to edit your information, insurance information, claims, things like that. Sketch is what I'm going to show you in this video, how to sketch a roof. So you're going to click on that. It's going to pull up some information. That looks to what I have seen and heard the property to be. You're going to preview it. So Roof Snap, let me get into a couple of the good benefits. So Roof Snap is good for Android devices, Apple devices, iPads, iPhones, and desktop. Totally cross-compatible, totally cloud-based. So I save it here. It pops up on this computer. It pops up on any computer with the Internet. I like that iRoofing, wasn't a big fan of it. It wasn't cross-compatible. They told me you know, it's less desired. People don't want it on desktop. No, I'm showing you on the desktop right now. So it is desired. I like it. So with their normal subscription, subscription, let's talk about that real quick. $99 a month at the time of this shooting in this video. $99 sounds like a lot, but it's unlimited reports. You don't mind putting a little bit of elbow grease into it. We'll show you from start to finish my clock here down here in a minute. It might take 10 minutes to do this report and it's done. I'm not even driven across town. Because I'm not driven, I don't know if it's two layer, three layer, more, shake, redeck, bad wood, whatever. In your estimate, protect yourself with that. I don't need to get into all that, but just have a little exclusion. If it's two layer, it's going to be this. If it's three layer, it's going to be that. If it needs decking, it's going to be this. So over to the screen. You get 12 credits. What is a credit for? And they recycle every month. So you get 12 next month again. They don't grow, but if you use them next month, it resets to 12. Sometimes you might not have a good imagery. You might have a tree obscuring it. Well, sometimes in a big metro area, you're going to get these premium imagery that were obtained by airplanes that flew grid patterns, high resolution photos. So sometimes you see the dates down here. You might be lucky and get one without. We're pretty lucky because here's standard. You get two to choose from. That's a little pixelated. This one is a little bit... Uh, more clear and plus there's no trees on it so we're going to select that you don't have to do this exactly like me this is a quick broad broad overview of the software i like to look from the front of the house so i'm going to rotate this around real quick so you're in the front of the house looking up at it let's zoom in real quick on it here zoom in real fast uh, i want to square this up so it's not totally plumb or right, squared up that makes a huge difference when you're marking this so the crosshairs snap to makes everything look a little more symmetric. Speaking of symmetric, if some imagery is in an angle, don't be alarmed. It's not going to throw your measurements off because even though you see more of this side and less here, this one's going to count bigger than this side. Same if the camera's on that side because you will come across a few that are not symmetric versus looking straight down. It's pretty damn accurate. So now that you got that, a good point to note out right now as well you can also send a drone and upload a drone. If you do that, it's going to need a scale verify. So you're going to need to measure a section of the roof. You're going to need to count three taps something, or what I personally like to do, I know on my truck, the bumper brush guard's black, real black, and the tailgate's got a black plastic piece. As long as my truck is in view of the drone shot while I'm there, and I know the distance of those two points on my truck, that's just a little tip. You could throw two cones out, however. I just, the truck is there. Every time I pull in, just make sure it's in the shot of the drone. If you're using the imagery they provide they know the scale resolution of when they would have obtained it so i'm sorry to be fast paced but we're on the clock here so my clock down here is at 1250 let's start the sketch here um that's a good shot we're gonna save this image right here everything's pretty square and plumb save image we're gonna go into the sketch part of it now 
You can either sketch the roof and then label the parts, or you can sketch it and label it at the same time. Again, you don't have to follow my way. This is just the way I have come to like it. Up here, I like to click draw. Quick brief overview. Left click is gonna mark your cursors and plot them. Right click is gonna get out of the mark, or it's gonna select a cursor mark that's been placed and you can drag it to a new location if you screwed up. So real simple on that. Your scrolly wheel can zoom in. So we're gonna click right over here, make sure we're just kind of crosshairs are down the eave lines. If you're gonna air out slightly bigger, you won't be short on material. And then just go down to your other edge. I like to personally do the outside of everything first. See, I kind of intentionally made that one a little small and I'll show you why here in a second. So they kind of snap to pretty good. You're just gonna go around and sketch it. That one there, see how it snapped to the vertical line that helps you make this look symmetric. We're just gonna kind of come up right here. Just draw these lines over the features of the roof. Now right here, I wanna get out of it. So you're gonna right click and then you're gonna left click, left click, right click, get out of it. You're just gonna do this and repeat the process to draw the image of the roof. So you'll then have a two dimensional sketch of it. Right click out. So I said I screwed up down here. You're gonna right click. Now it can get you to where you wanna draw it and, and move it. So we're gonna move it just ever so slightly down. It snapped two on that one. So we're gonna come back down here, right there. We're gonna jump over and bring this one out. Just cause I kinda had that up over the bottom edge of the gutter. So there, I'm, I'm happy with that. Again, it's not rocket science. We're doing a quick rough sketch. We're two minutes into this now, according to my clock down there. You can draw out your chimneys and place your pipe boots and all that. I'm just doing a really rough sketch. And I also prevent the, present this to the customers. The customers love it. I've had a handful of customers recently be like, wow, no one else has provided this. I had some people say it was so much more and bigger, and I really didn't know. So it's a courtesy thing to them. Plus, I also attach it to my CRM software, which is Job Nimbus. Job Nimbus, if you're out there listening, please hit me up. I'd love to shoot a video for you. Let's talk sponsorship. Uh, so I attach it to my software, and I'll show you that here in a minute, maybe real briefly. So it's sketched out. We're going to go up here to Edges. Now you just basically say Eve, Ice and Water, Eve Edge. My GoPro going? Yes, yeah, still is. And then you just simply click any of the eaves that you want to associate with whatever features you want. Going down, there's no rake on this. Let's do ridge just because it's in a simple flow. So click your ridge. I have ridge vent on it. There we go. Hips, let's knock those out. Uh, valley, ice and water, boom. I'm pretty sure you can set the sensitivity of your snapping of lines and clicking things. Step flash, if you want to do any of that, wall, transitions, all kinds of good stuff. So you're gonna to want to put a pitch because two dimension, if you have say a 12-12, it's gonna air you out big time. You're gonna have a lot of short material. So you gotta put a pitch factor in there. Was it Pythagoras, Pythagoras, whatever. Or I keep a little simple little chart like this, um, a pitch factor. This software does a great job. Once everything's sketched out, click on facets. This is where you can add layers, your pitch, your stories, dormers, things like that. Just click on pitch. You're not sure, let me show you a little trick. I'm gonna blur out a section, go to Google Maps. Most of the time you can get a good shot of a street view. Here's the house. That looks like a 412 pitch to me. So boom, there we go. I shot another video about Google Maps and how you can measure. I'll put a card up here if you wanna watch it, check it out. Um, so on this 412, you can either click that there in that particular spot and go around and click your sections. So if you got different pitches, if it's all the same pitch, you can just simply click this plus and poof, they all are that pitch. Click done. About it. I'm going to use their suggested waste factors. Click yes. That's going to generate, calculate all the measurements and everything you need. We're going to convert it to a PDF in the documents tab real quick. So there it is. Click on documents. And I'm pretty sure you can use like contracts and everything like that uploaded here. We're just going to go down to this add right here. I just simply click Modern Sketch Report. It's gonna generate it now into a nice, lovely PDF file that I will shove over to my CRM and attach. Click it. Click that little download arrow there. Actually, cancel that, because I have something down there. Click uh, Download. Save it. I started to do this a few minutes ago, but my GoPro shut off, so I wanna restart. There will be some blurred out areas here. So here's this customer file I just created. We're going to click 
document tab, which it is, add attachment. We're going to slide that up there. Now don't laugh because in here down at the bottom I have eye roofing. I need to change it because I've abandoned eye roofing. It sucks. Um, sketch reports. But that attaches it to my online software. I love Job Nimbus. I will shoot a video hopefully in the future of Job Nimbus. Back over to the sketch report. So here's the PDF we created. It has a nice lovely photo. If you do a drone shot, it throws your drone shot in there. Uh, you can add your company logos and information, how to get a hold of. Puts a nice little day. This is pretty professional for your customers. My mouse is terrible. I need a new battery or something. So there's the pitch factor on your pitch on your sections, your facets. Here's your your footage, your linear feet in a two dimension sketch, but it accounted for it. So, if, for example, if you have a whatever number, 20 feet, and it goes to a 12 12, it'll account for that. So, when I meant two dimension, it's you're looking at two dimension. Suggested uh, waste fa uh, factor. I don't know their algorithm, their features, and how it calculates it, but I find it to be pretty accurate. So, I always do minimum of 10. Insurance companies do 10, sometimes more. So whether you want to get an actual squareage or an actual squareage plus waste or accessories, you can then take that simple calculation and then multiply it by a square of your choice in your market, or you can put it into a spreadsheet like I do and it auto-populates everything for every brand and everything that I typically use. Simple, it's a time saver, and you know you're not going to screw up and forget something. But it gives you all your itemized information, ice and water, ridge vent, whatever you, you selected and chose and where it calculates it pretty quick. The desktop is now seven minutes in. I'm taking time to explain this. So it's really powerful software. Uh, figure your, your stuff like you did. You know, Go on from there. So close that out. Let's go back up here. You can click back to your projects. This is everything I've created so far. I'm not going to get into it. It's going to be blurred out for my customer's protection. You can do a lot. You can actually upload your documents and contracts, whatever. Again, I don't use this for my CRM. I believe you can do everything, invoice estimates and all from here. I just haven't explored it. I use it mainly for sketching because I love Job Nimbus and I've got about three years worth of data into it now and customers. Let me know if you want to watch Job Nimbus video. I'll shoot one when I get some time coming up this uh, fall and winter. But uh, yeah, so as I said, like I said, I don't know if I shot it in this video earlier because the GoPro had been cutting out. Like my boy Stephen Graham, please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs down if you genuinely disliked it. I just, you know, for the YouTube algorithm, for the other people out there searching this information, they want to see it, so please just do it for them, not for me. I don't care. At the end of the day, I really don't care. I learn a lot from YouTube. I'm trying to give back to YouTube. There's people out there, but I'm buried between billions of videos. So, if you're not subscribed, like I said, if you liked anything, hit the subscription bell so you're notified. Subscribe, be notified when I shoot this video content out there for you. It's really powerful software. Riff Snap is amazing, and I need to look back up and see who it was. But the viewer that commented, thank you, I appreciate it. I've never heard of it. They may not pump out big advertising dollars because I've never seen it online in any of my searches. Uh, subscription based, one fee a month, unlimited reports you can do, and I'm pretty sure you can add people on your team. So good, powerful software. Two thumbs up to uh, Riff Snap. <laughs> that's it that's it i gotta edit down 15 minutes of gopro footage and nine minutes worth of screen capture so yeah please do this for the other people out there seeking the knowledge god that was so close it cut out the whole point of this little clip thrown in is to cross-reference the scale and the actual like how does it compare you know from just looking at a an image and drawing it out so we're just going to take this long 300 foot tape here Granted, it might be off a few inches because the way I have a screwdriver taped to it because I can shove it into things like this and hold it because I'm working solo here. I'm gonna run on down this big side. We're gonna compare the measurement and see how accurate it is. Seventy-one feet, roughly. Seventy-one three inches, but I don't know how. You know, roughly seventy-one feet. I don't even recall from when I prepared the estimate what it was. I'm just gonna throw this little clip in there and you'll see how accurate it is. All right, so I had to stop real quick. I left where I was and uh, just wanted to check and see how accurate the measurement was. So here we go. Can you see it there? Got a heck of a glare. 71 foot, six inches. 
So when I was up there, it measured 71, 71.4, somewhere right about there. That's pretty damn spot on. You're talking two inches, within two inches, just by looking at a picture and measuring down. Trust the software, it's gonna be pretty accurate. Unless you screw up doing an upload of a drone shot and skill verifying, that's the issue. So, good work. Riff Snap, if you're watching this, give me a buzz. Let's talk sponsorship. <laughs>